Hey guys, Laura Spade here. This is Surviving Ark, number two. Now it's like, you know, my second time playing, and I'm picking up where I left off. And I have my, my base kind of set up. There's still a few things I have to do to it. But right now, what's really important is, is I have to try to gather some food. Because I'm pretty hungry. But you should always be vigilant because you never know what might pop out at you and that can be an issue and as, as you can see I'm pretty hungry right now so the only thing I can really forage right now is well some berries so we're going around getting as many berries as we possibly can but on the plus side we're also getting fiber we need a lot of fiber for some of the stuff that we have to do like clothing so we need clothing and we just leveled up so we can use the ingram after we go over here and eat some a little bit of this mm, tasty a vegan lifestyle i know so we got our berries and as you can see our food meter is going up but very very slowly it is not a good meal you cannot be a vegan in this game you need meat straight up meat so we're going to go ahead and pick our skill point, and I think I'm going to pick it in melee damage. So we're going right here to the Ingrams, and like I said, we need some clothing. So we're going to work on that right now. So we're already starting to get all the stuff. We're making the clothing, and we're going to put the clothing on because it's really important. It really is, because if you're cold, you need clothing. It warms you up. You know, the reality of the situation. You don't want to walk around all cold and junk. And always happen to sit by a fire because you're freezing. So, get some clothing. And plus, it's extra added uh, bonuses to, you know, combat and whatnot. So you don't die as easy. <clears throat> but, yeah, there we go. We are looking pretty good. I'm liking it. So, another thing. Um, you know... You gotta get that cooked meat. You can't have that vegan lifestyle. But we're about to go head out and after we get a little something to drink, but uh, just a, oh, gross. A little constant reminder, guys. Um, you don't need to leave your fires running. You know, turn off the lights when you leave. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna walk up to our fires, go ahead and put them out. Now, we still got a lot to do, and I think I'm starting to figure a few things out. <clears throat> Excuse me. But we need to go explore just a little bit around our area. So it is that important. Um, we've already cleared out most of this little area around the house, or a little abode. But we still do not have a sleeping bag or anything like that set up. Uh, so we need, desperately need to... Go look around, see what we can find. I want to see what's over here on the other side of this water. But, you know, always be careful. You never know what's going to come out and snap at you. So, <laughs> I'm keeping a close eye on those fish. Fish of which I have no idea what the heck they're doing. But so, some of these dinosaurs, they're, they're, they're not aggressive. But pinpointing who's aggressive and who's not, it's kind of easy because they'll charge at you and try to eat you. Um, and the ones that aren't aggressive, well, they'll just walk around, ignore you. And those are the kinds I like. It's the ones that get yeah, gross. Um, but, you know, if you always have to eat, eat. But just a reminder, you have to be vigilant. You don't really know the difference between the two in, until it, it basically happens. And sometimes, you never know. You might just get ambushed by a bunch of small predators. So, we're running and running and running and... Whoa! He's just chilling. But here we go. What we have here is a slight small issue and it just got worse. Little guys are vicious, very, very vicious, but easily taken care of. 
until their friend comes. And it looks like things are really hectic, really scary. I, I'm afraid I'm going to die, but you never know. You have to keep fighting. Survival. Survival. So, keep surviving. Now, you got to attack wisely. Looks like, yes, this is another one of those creatures. So, we're going to go headlong and... Yes, and hey, we have a spear. I'm gonna back up and stab him right in the throat. And we got him. And it looks like, hey, we don't have to forage on some berries right now. We got some meat. So we're gonna throw we are gonna throw that on the fire and we are going to have a great meal. A great meal. Now something I have to go ahead and tell you. Killing things is important. You must kill things because you need supplies, stuff like hides. You need to go ahead and try to get some weapons set up so you can get some hide. If you don't have hide, there's a few things you can't make. So go ahead and make sure you set your goals high. So we're trying to get this, this dinosaur right here. And, oh man, we're just throwing spears. Uh, just a friendly reminder, um, make sure you're prepared and have a, a good amount of spears. And it looks like we missed him and he is too far away, but we managed to nail this trilobite right here, so we might as well just go ahead and take him out. Set your goals high, but hey... You can get lucky sometimes, just get something else. But we're going to let that one live. Him and the three spears I lobbed into him. Unfortunately, we're going to have to get some more uh, wood for some spears. But hey, it happened. So we're just going to start chopping down some trees. Uh, just a reminder, if you use a hatchet, you're going to get more wood. If you use a pickaxe on a tree, you're going to get more thatch. So, thatch, and yeah, you get the difference. So, basically, we're going to go ahead and craft some more spears, just in case we need to go ahead and throw a whole bunch of more. And, I'm so close to leveling up right now, and I know I still need a few more things, like fiber, and hey, maybe some berries, because if I'm not mistaken, you know, Whoa, I leveled up, woo -woo. <laughs> and we're just going to get some more supplies. Uh, these berries, if they decompose and spoil, I think you get seeds out of it, so, I mean, there's always that, so maybe there's some farming to be had in the future. So we're going to head back to our little abode right here, and looks like during our last level up, we managed to get the ingram for some thatched doors and well we need doors in our little abode right we don't want it to be all doorless so we're gonna go ahead and craft that so always be improving yourself always improve yourself um, and improve your your basic uh, home and it might not be much right now but it will be if you keep working at it this is just my first little hut. There will be more. There will be better huts in the future. I already know it. But, yeah, door. I, I feel so accomplished right now. But unfortunately, I did not get enough hide to make a bedroll. But I did manage to go ahead and upgrade myself to where I could actually start making a storage chest, something I desperately needed because there's only so much weight you can carry on you and I don't like to waste anything. So we're just gonna throw everything we got into the box and save it for next time. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. If I've helped you out, please like the video. Liking is good. Um, and subscribe. I, I come out with new content daily. And we're still throwing stuff in this chest. There will be more to come, guys. And 
until next time. Woo woo.